In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing Monty Kids Level 2 box, which is for months four to six and a half. Let's go and see what's inside. So I know many of you have been very curious about Monty Kids and its quality, and so have I. Let's get straight to it and see what's inside. All right, so this box is pretty big. It's for four and a half, four to six and a half. So that's about not quite three months, two and a half months. So my daughter is almost four months now, so this will be perfect for her. Let's go and see. Uh, tape here on the side as well. Okay, let's go on here. All right, uh, let's go and take a look here first. This here is the level quick start guide. All right, so it's a nice, thick, lots of stuff for you to read over. Um, I'll go over a little bit more of this in my review section. What else is in here? All right, so this looks like just the toy timeline. Okay, so this is a uh, when you suggested view of when to introduce the toys to your children. Let's put this aside so I know what everything is going. All right, let's go take a look. Okay. Ah, I like how everything is nicely placed inside its own little box, I guess. So it's nice, easy to store, maybe. Okay. So here we have the wooden book. So every item looks like its own little individual unboxing. It's pretty cool. Okay. So now that your child is a bit older, um, they will be able to see different colors. So this is, has a little color in it. This is meant for four months. So far, quality seems pretty good. I don't think there's anything underneath this box here. Nope, it's just empty. we have here we have the inter oh, okay i really just noticed that this is toy box one so you know exactly which order to introduce them to and um the unboxing will just be whatever i grab and not in any specific order okay so here we have the toy box there's toy eight nine and ten okay you have here the interlocking rings okay so it's wood and then this is wool this is some kind of fabric. Cool. And next here we have a dolio. Dolio, how it's pronounced. It's kind of cool. This, these little pegs just go back and forth. It's kind of this. It's kind of like a cool rattle. And then here you have a cylinder rattle, which is there's a bell in the middle and then three colors. Interesting that the uh, probably can't tell, but the bell in the middle is actually a bell with a little. Uh, let's see if I can get a closer shot during the review, but it's pretty cool. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the bell actually has a little area for you, kind of like the bells you put like on a collar or something. Huh, interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's inside. Here we have toy two, three, and four, which you have a square rattle. Okay, so square rattle, pretty cool. And you have this is a what is this called? This is called a grasping cylinder. Okay. That's cool. I haven't seen one of these before. And then this is the interlocking disc. Um, I've seen plenty of these. I actually have two other versions of them. Next we have, this will be the hex ball. That's cool. Okay, so we can do something like that. Cool. Then we have a teething ball, teether ball. Uh, I've seen something like this quite a bit often. It's, it's nice size, not too big. 
And here we have the cube rattle. Okay, so there's a wooden ball in here and the rattles. Let's see if we can go closer. You can see the wooden ball. Right. See, now you get into the bigger items. This is the number 11. Right, let me get these two out of here. Oh, this is pretty heavy. Move this big old box out of the way. Take a look at the first blocks. This one says beginning age 10 plus months. This is beginning age 0 to 3. So this is actually set into two time periods. So this is a set you introduce right now when your child is younger, which looks like they are just wooden blocks. Okay, you get six of them. It's pretty nice. And then next, when they get a little bit older, once they get to ages 10 and up, you introduce them to the rest of these blocks. So these are cool. There's lots of plum to play with. I can even see my son enjoying playing with these. But my daughter probably won't get to these for a little while now since she's barely four months right now. This is the dining set. So for when they eventually get a little bit older, they can start eating. When they start introducing them to solids. So this is like a silicone material. So their child won't break it. So you have the fork. Pretty good sizing. And you have some metal cups. Okay. There. The only concern is that the edges are not completely smooth. They're a little bit, um, not sharp, but they're sharper than I would expect for maybe a small child. But I don't think, I think they should be okay. However, I personally do like using glass ones because that teaches them if they drop it, that things are breakable. Although it is nice to start off with metal too because you don't have to worry about them breaking these. Okay, and then next you have the placemats. So, this is nice. We never got one for my son. So we'll see how this works out for my daughter. So that's how it goes. So nice, everything's nicely placed. And yeah, that's everything that's included in this box. It's, um, there's a lot of items in here, but the box is also pretty expensive. Now time for me to kind of review the items and see how it is and see how my daughter interacts with them. Some of the items like these plates and everything, um, my daughter probably won't be interacting with quite yet as I do want to give you guys the review earlier because I know that many have been asking for it. Um, but I'll kind of base it off of my own knowledge from my son as well, who is now two and a half years old. So I have knowledge of how most of these things work. But yeah, I'll see you back in the review portion. Before I start the review, I want to point out that I missed the included bags when unboxing. There are actually three bags that's included with this. They're under the toys, well, the box with the toys two to four, five to seven, and the box with the block sets. It does make bringing the toys with us easier. While the box does come with quite a bit of toys and items, Monty Kits has made it really easy for us parents to know when to introduce the toys to our child. Of course, keep in mind that no two child are alike, so this is only just a suggested timeline. Upon receiving the box for your four month old, you can immediately introduce the wooden book. Reading the wooden book is a great way to establish how story time works. You may have noticed that there aren't any words as the goal behind it is to have a discussion rather than just reciting the words. For example, you can discuss the picture of the dog and point to different parts of the dog and be like, hey look, this is the nose and this is the ears. After this, there is a sequence of what they call nine Montessori rattles to introduce at different times. Personally, I don't think all of them are really rattles, as a rattle to me always makes sound, and a couple of these don't even have any moving parts or make any sounds. But that's just nitpicking, as each of these are still very helpful toys in engaging a child and helping them develop. One week after introducing the wooden book, you can introduce the rattle set one, which includes the square rattle, grasping cylinder, and interlocking disc. Of course, you only introduce these one at a time and not all at once. This set of toys provide tactile, auditory, and visual input, which encourages body control and coordination. They're meant to help your child practice hand-to-hand -hand transfer and hand-eye coordination. One week after that, you can start introducing the rattles inside the rattle set two, which include the hex with balls, 
the teether ball, and a cube rattle. The hex with ball strengthens their fine motor skills. The teether ball is great as babies around its age love putting things in their mouth and this is a safe option. Of course, when they also get older and start teething, it's good for them as well. The cube rattle, in addition to developing the grasp and auditory sense, it also allows them to learn cause and effect. Basically, if they move their hands in a certain way, the rattle makes a noise. And one week after that, you can start introducing rattle set 3, which includes the interlocking rings, the dolio, and cylinder rattle. The interlocking rings provide sensory feedback and encourage exploration. The Dolio is a fairly complicated looking toy with moving parts that help your baby's grasping and hand-to-hand -hand transfer skills. The last rattle, the cylinder rattle, helps demonstrate cause and effect and works as a motivator to help your child start crawling. The way they do this is you slowly roll the cylinder away. If you follow the schedule, it will put your child right at the beginning of five months old, which is how old my child is, and I have to say that their introduction timeline seems pretty ambitious. Many of these are quite complicated, and my daughter is either not interested in them, or she just holds them and doesn't do anything with them. My best guess is that this is a timeline is just a guide on when to introduce the items, but you're going to have to keep a close eye on your child to see their progress. With that said, some of these, like the hex with balls, does get the attention of my son who's two months shy of turning three years old. So it's nice to know that these toys are going to last a little while. Two weeks after introducing the last rattle set, you can introduce the first block set, which are the color blocks. The larger set is for when your child gets older. The idea behind these is you're introducing them for your child to grasp and eventually they'll start to build and stack them as they get older. The larger block set is meant for 10 months and up, so it'll be a bit longer before my daughter is ready for them. Well, and it's only going to be introducing them because she's not going to be stacking them at 10 months and up. However, on the other hand, my son is enjoying playing with them. So it's good to know that these blocks are still going to be fun for a three-year-old. The last set in this box is the dining set, which is meant to be introduced once your child is ready for solids, which is usually when your child is able to sit up unassisted by themselves. So this means that they're not leaning on anything or propped up on anything. They're able to sit up by themselves. As with anything baby related, this can happen earlier or later, but at about six months, many babies are able to accomplish this. However, just keep in mind when you're introducing the dining set, don't expect them to use everything immediately like the fork and spoon. It'll be a bit longer before your baby's going to start using them. If I remember right, it wasn't about 10 to 12 months before my son started using the spoon and fork. Alright, so those are all the items that's for the baby. Now let's talk about some stuff that's for the parents. A very important item that's included is the quick start guide, which is basically it guides us parents on how to introduce the items to our baby. While the quick start guide is a good place to start, they also include a more comprehensive online course that goes into more details about each item. The videos go over how to present the toys to your child, why they present it the way they do, and examples of how other children play with the toy. I really enjoyed the course and I want to say this is probably where the majority of the value of the kid is, at least from a parent learning perspective. The course is broken down week by week, and each week where you're introducing a toy, it has a demo video, and after that, a short read on the research and benefits of the items introduced. Now to the part you've probably been waiting for, is this kit worth the price? The quality of the items in this kit are definitely top notch. However, there's also a hefty price tag of $300 per box, which covers three months. So that's about $100 a month. What if you try to recreate this kit? Would it be cheaper that way? Well, many of the items aren't too hard to find elsewhere, but there are some that are pretty unique like the grasping cylinders and the hex with balls. I even searched other places besides Amazon and couldn't find a decent alternative for these two. For the grasping cylinder, I just found something that had a similar teaching concept and not necessarily the identical physical toy concept. For the hex with balls, I use baby fidget spinners as an alternative price to price it out, but they really don't do justice to the workmanship of the hex with balls. Then there's the dolio, which I did find an alternative for it, but it's quite expensive at $52.18. Definitely not a cheap alternative, and it's not quite identical to the Monty Kids one, but it's pretty close. In order to keep this video from being overly long, I'm not going to be going over all the alternatives I found. However, I have all of them listed down below in the description. If you use my list to try to recreate this, it would cost $259.22, so almost $41 less than ordering from Monte Kids. But keep in mind that many of the alternatives I found weren't exactly the same and not made of wood. This makes answering the question, is it worth it or not, not a clear yes or no. If you're looking at it purely on a monetary sense, then no, it might not be worth it. But this doesn't factor in the quick start guide and the course. 
Without these, you'll probably need to spend some time doing research that Monte Kid has probably spent countless hours doing to make these boxes. So in a sense, you're paying that extra $41 for saving time. Time in both looking for good alternatives and time from learning how and when to introduce the toys. I would like to add, if you don't plan on purchasing any other toys for your child, then I could see this being a very worthwhile investment as they have everything for you in one place from the toys to the course to help you guide your child to get the most out of the toys. Let me know down below in the comments section what you think about this kit. Is it worth it to you? Make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'm working on comparing my experience with Monty Kids to Love Every to see which is better. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.